Right. So uh, we'll just go into the next topic that is uh, the inerting purging. Now you can go back to the you can go back and uh, what are the conditions of the ship which needs uh, to be taken care of. So the ship must be at all times in the inerted condition. Ship must be at all times in the inerted condition. Now, inerted condition means your tank atmosphere should have oxygen less than 8%. Please make a note. Ship must be at all times in the inerted condition. Yani, yani ki your tank atmosphere should have oxygen content not more than 8%. Right? This is how the uh, ship is supposed to be. Now, how we can make the ship inerted? So we already wrote down the definitions. Remember, definition likha hai ki nahi? Inerting, purging, gas freeing. Yes. Turu mein likhe hum log. Now, what are the methods of doing these operations? Right? What are the methods of doing these operations? Number one is dilution. Methods of inerting, purging, gas freeing. That is the topic. Methods of inerting, purging, gas freeing. Number one is dilution. Number one is dilution. Right. In dilution, what we are doing is we are pumping in the required gas. We are pumping in the required gas to replace, to replace, to replace whatever the gas inside the compartment. We are pumping in the required gas to replace whatever is the gas inside the compartment by slowly increasing by slowly increasing the concentration, dilution process, right? The <coughs> next point you can make a note, he, the dilution theory uses, the dilution theory uses the concept of making a homogeneous mixture. The dilution theory uses the concept of making the home, making a homogeneous mixture. Your homogeneous mixture kya hota hai? What is homogeneous mixture? The same tie center. Yeah, say the homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous means the properties or characteristics is the same throughout the entire volume. The properties or characteristics will be same throughout the entire volume. That is what is called a homogeneous. And mixture. So we are trying to make a mixture and therefore, uh, therefore, it will be a long uh, time will be required. Long time will be required. Right? So the entry velocity in uh, dilution process, the entry is from the top of the tank and the entry is from the top of the tank and the exit of the gases, exit of the gases should be as far as possible. Exit of the gases should be as far as possible from the entry point. That is what is shown in the sketch, right? So, dilution ke liye, this is the sketch you will need to make. This is the dilution sketch. Figure 2 is dilution. This is the dilution sketch, right? So, entry as far as possible from the exit point. What is the second requirement? The entry velocity should be high. Velocity should be high. That is, the, that is the next requirement. The entry velocity should be high. What is the next requirement? The entry volume should be large. Entry volume should be large. Give me a moment, please.
Hey, uh, are we are we all right in this one? Any any doubts? Any any questions you want to ask? Dilution method. The last point is that entry volume should be large. Yes, entry volume should be large. <clears throat> that is, uh, uh, you can say entry volume should be at a large capacity or large weight. Sir, वो तो जितना pipe की dimension होगी तो उसपे depend करेगा ना entry volume. Absolutely, 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 absolutely. लेकिन हमें वही चाहिए. I need it to be as big as possible. I need it to be as big as possible. Next one is displacement method. A displacement method. Just go down to the next one. Yeah. Next one is displacement method. That is here. Now, in displacement method, in displacement method, the entry is obviously from the top. Entry is obvious from the top, but the exit inlet of the gas is preferred to be as low as possible. Right? The exit is preferred to be as low as possible. Now, the displacement method it works on the principle of displacing. it works on the principle of displacing lighter gas with heavier gas it works on the principle of displacing lighter gas with heavier gas um just to give you an idea um, if we compare air inert gas and uh, hydrocarbon vapors um, any idea which is the lightest and which is the heaviest hydrocarbon sir Nit uh, nitrogen is the lightest, and then comes air. Nitrogen is the lightest, yeah. So therefore, if you are using nitrogen, you will always be using uh, the uh, dilution method. But uh, what about inert gas? Is it heavier or lighter than air? Yeah, it is heavier. Yeah, it is much much heavier than air. And therefore, when we are using inert gas, that is your flue gas, that is boiler flue gas. then we can use the displacement method very nicely theek hai na so air which is on top for inerting we can use this method very easily air which is on top will be uh, displaced by the inert gas in fact um, if you have ever seen a tanker uh, or a or a large tank being inerted we really don't need to maintain any pressure we just put in inert gas it sits at the bottom and the air is going to be displaced from the top and uh, the inerting is a much faster process using of uh, of course using this kya kehte hai apna flue gas inerting is a much faster process right so the displacement uh, it relies on the displacement of lighter uh, uh, gas from the top okay this is how it works um okay here we can say that displacement method the entry velocity of gas uh, could be as low yeah entry velocity of gas could be uh, low we don't need very high entry gas entry velocity but volume we need very high the volume requirement is very high for the entry gases guys are we able to uh, understand this part or any part which is not uh, clear to you please go ahead sir hamare ship 